the main control system is a touch screen, and so that way they can be compatible with that. From the high-tech gloves to the super strong neck brace and airtight sleeves, and then your locking tabs actually. The spacesuits for the Artemis II astronauts are meant to be ready for anything. So this spacesuit has been designed um, for the astronauts to pretty much survive any anomaly. At the Johnson Space Center in Houston, it's likely the last chance for NASA to show off its stuff ahead of its now looming historic mission to send people to the moon and back. So as they do the lunar flyby operation, they're going to be taking photos out the windows. A lunar flyby, a test run really, to prove that NASA, for the first time since the Apollo program of the 1970s, can do this. If all goes well with Artemis II, the plan is for the following mission to actually land on the moon. For Canada, all eyes now will be on mission specialist Jeremy Hansen, seen here in training. One of four Artemis II astronauts, he'll be the first Canadian ever to leave Earth's orbit. And to my fellow Canadians, you should also be extraordinarily proud that we are represented in the Artemis program. And it wasn't a gift, you earned it. Hansen gives big time shout outs to NASA on this and the Canadian Space Agency and of course, the three Americans who'll be with him on board. He's funny. <laughs> In turn, the Americans highlight Hansen's hard work, his sense of humor and constant creative thinking. There is, there is nothing that he doesn't just think about. Like, well, what if you did this? What if you did that? What if you did this? How, 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 why does it work this way? How could it work a different way? And those questions when you're flying a spacecraft for the very first time, those questions lead to a lot of discovery. And by the way, the backup astronaut to Hansen, fellow Canadian Jenny Gibbons. We're close to launch now, so we're getting all of our classes complete. We're preparing for the mission. It's very developmental still, but we're starting to nail down a lot of the areas we need for flight. We're getting ready. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. I really am. Yeah, I love this. I love this stuff. For us, Hansen underlined the inspiration that he hopes Canadians will take from all of it. And I think it's extraordinary that we're the second country in the world to send a human into deep space. And if we're doing this, imagine what we can do next. So it's very powerful for me. NASA says the launch may be as soon as February, so the training for Hansen and the others now intensifies. The moon awaits. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Houston.